Good morning, Finley Dreamers. Good morning, Mrs. Adams. And good morning, Finley Scholars. Good morning, Mr. Miller. Good morning, Finley family. Good morning, Mr. Kirby. And you can see I have the comma second grade class behind me, Mrs. Hall's class. And um, they are so considerate. I'll put it that way, because that's kind of what I'm going to be talking about very shortly. So um, can't wait to hear their fantastic ideas. Well, I can't wait for today. It is today, but when I get home after supper tonight, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to watch the Winter Olympics. And it reminds me of when we went sledding <laughs> last week and this week. So, of course, since it's Friday, I have to tell a joke about the Olympics. Skiing and sledding and ice skating. But did you know the joke is about a principal who went to the Olympics and the principal won a silver medal and a gold medal. And somebody was there and said to the principal, I see you won a silver medal. What did you win the silver medal for? And the principal said, telling knock-knock jokes. And the person said, hmm, great. What did you win the gold medal for? And the principal said, stopping the knock-knock jokes. <laughs> you know, it's great to start out the day with a joke and a laugh. And I hope everybody has a fun Friday. Thank you. Well, yes, we, we're going to have a fun Friday, that's for sure. The one thing I was talking to this class about today was um, empathy, you know, and what that means in general terms is really understanding where people are coming from. And we have someone in this class that said he had an example of that to share with the whole school. LaShawn, can you come up by me? I know you're back behind me a little way, so you want to come up right in the front to give him an example of understanding someone, especially when they're feeling kind of sad. You want to use your biggest voice and share it out. Go ahead. I helped Ardo when he was feeling sad. He helped Ardo when he was feeling sad because he saw what he needed, looked on his face. And then he just stepped in because he had that understanding of what was needed in that very case. So that's what he wanted to share today. And um, I want to say again out there, um, my understanding of all the things that you're doing right out there. I'm talking about teachers and students. Um, I can't say enough about the things that you continue to do, even when they're not always easy. Even when they're not easy. I'm listening. We're listening and we're here to help you no matter what it takes. So I have to continue to say that. And then we have a, someone else from this class. Emmy's going to come up and sit on this side of me and give her shout out to all of you. So you ready, Emmy? Come up by Mr. Miller, too. Please. And thanks, Akir. Okay. I have a shout out. Shout, shout out. out. I have a shout out for Nurse Lori for always helping them with their conditions. Oh. I love that use of word, Emmy. Yes, that's beautiful, isn't it? It's a great way to start our Friday out with all these understanding thoughts and the positivity of giving compliments to other people that are really making this community a better place every day. That's right. And what a great shout out on a day that we're discussing empathy. And I also kind of think sometimes maybe you don't understand exactly where someone's coming from. But if you kind of think, gosh, I don't know what this person has been through until this point today. Sometimes people can't find their shoe and they're late or their favorite shirt wasn't clean or, you know, they were out of the cereal that they didn't, you know, so we never know what kinds of things we all come here and we all put on our Finley family hat, so to speak. And we all play our roles and do what we need to do and do our jobs and we learn and we grow. But 
we don't always come here with the same experience, right? So even just realizing that is going to take us places. In second grade, keep up the empathy, keep up the kindness, because someday you might find yourself in college. I hope so, if you want to. So it's time for a Friday college cheer, and I know you're ready. One, two, ready, go. Two, four, four. six, eight. When does fifth grade graduate? 20, 20, 2033. Two, four, six, eight. When does fourth grade graduate? 20, 20, 2034. Two, four, six, eight. When does third grade graduate? 20, 20, 2034. Two, four, six, eight. When does second grade graduate? 20, 20, 2036. Two, four, six, eight. When does first grade graduate? 20, 20, 2037. Two, four, six, eight. When does kindergarten graduate? 20, 20, 2038. Finley dreamers, dream big. Dream big. We believe. We believe. Pull hearts. Pull hearts. Better together. Better together.